हेलो स्टूडेंट वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू आर ऑनलाइन क्लास लेट्स बिगिन विद दी लेसन स्टैंडर्ड फोर्थ सब्जेक्ट ईवेस टू हिस्ट्री लेसन नंबर इलेवन द डिसकम्फीचर ऑफ शहीस्त खान शहीस्त खान कैम्पेन द स्पिरिट्स ऑफ द रिपीटेड अफर्ट्स इन विच ही लेफ्ट नो स्टोन अनटर्न अजय शाह ऑफ बीजापुर कुल नॉट फोर्स द शिवाजी टू सिलेंडर Every sadhus of Bijapur who was sent against Shivaji was defeated. At last, Adil Shah gave up the fight, made peace with Shivaji, and gave recognition to his independent day kingdom. In the meanwhile, constant Mughal attack from the north had practically ruined Maharashtra. Shivaji turned his attention northwards and carried out. raids in the territory of the mughal emperor aurangzeb enraged aurangzeb and he sent shai sikhan his uncle to deal with shivaji and teach him a lesson shai sikhan having a huge army of 75000 men and hundreds of elephant camels and piece of cannon marched on pune On the way, he captured the towns of Shirvel, Shivapur, Saswar, and finally led the Sikh to the fort of Purandar. But once a Maratha army surrounded him in the mountain pass, the Maratha troops moved very fast on their shifted Bhim Bhimthari ponies. They also travelled very light. They could. the hills and valley in the shortest possible time on army rations constructing of onions and bhakri the time of warfare prefect by the maratha was unknown to shai sikhan he harris by the maratha troop he at last reached the sikh of purandar fironji nasral shai sikhan continue his march on pune first he captured the fort of chakkan Firangoji Nasalal fought to defend the fort with a great bravery and skill against the army of Shais Khan. The two months he captured Shais Khan at a bay, but he was helpless against the guns of Shais Khan. Shais Khan was much impressed with the war. Of Firangoji defeated the fort and offered him service with the Mughal emperor. Firangoji however refused his tempting offer Shaist Khan in Lal Mahal Shaist Khan captured to Pune and made Lal Mahal Shivaji residency and his head quarter one year passed then on one another Shaist Khan could not leave Pune on the country trip and Shivaji destroy the crops and take away the cattle in this way he started devastating the surrounding outside country a bold plan at last shivaji decided to teach shaist khan a lesson in a way it was a good that shaist khan was staying in lal mahal shivaji knew that place very well even outside and inside or outside with all its entrance and exit its secret passage doors and windows beside shivaji spies were keeping him well informed about the dispositions of the khan troop therefore he, he decided to enter the lal mahal one night and kill shais khan this was indeed a very bold plan lal mahal was so well guarded that even an ant will find it difficult to get through Seventy-five thousand troops were camping outside the palace. No armed Maratha was allowed to enter the town. But Shivaji had made up his mind, and there was none who could turn him away from this resolve. Shivaji fixed a day to carry out the plan. On the night of fifth April, sixteen sixty-three, a marriage procession was passing along the streets of Pune. There was a music and fireworks. Hundreds of people dressed in fine clothes were in the procession. Some were in the palanquins, others in mints. While many more were on foot, Shivaji with his band 
of trusted followers joined the processions to give the impression that they were a part of it. After the procession proceeded on its way, but Shivaji and his men moved away quickly in the direction of Lal Mahal. Shais Khan was a fast lived as this hours. Shais the Khan learned a lesson. Shivaji made a hole in the wall and entered the Lal Mahal. He had no trouble in fighting his way out because it was after all own house. The Khan bodyguard were half asleep. Shivaji followed tight them. Shivaji went deeper inside. Suddenly someone rushed at him with a sword. Shivaji killed him in thought. It was Shais Khan, but it was his son. There was a commotion. People woke up. Shivaji went straight to the Khan camp and took out the sword. The Khan started shouting the devil, the devil and tried to escape through the window. Shivaji struck him with the sword with cut of the three fingers of Khan. The Khan could, could have lost his fingers, his life, but he accepted with the loss of three fingers only. The Khan jumped out of the door and made for safety. He decided the Khan troops. Shivaji and his men raised the cry. Shivaji had attacked, run, catch him and started to run themselves. The Khan troop also started running in all the direction. In the confusion that followed, Shivaji and his men made their escapes and reached Sinhagad. The Khan troop went the whole night looking in vain for Shivaji and his troop. This incident took the fight out of Shaista Khan. He was afraid that if he lost only his three fingers in the first attack, Shivaji might cut his head of in the second attack. Aurangzeb was a furious, but he heard of this episode. Shais Khan lost the empire favor and was transformed to Bengal. This was the first serious blow to the Mughal empire. Shivaji had successfully branded the lion in his own den. Gunfire announced the victory and a wave of joy went all over the Maharashtra. Okay, student, I hope you understood this lesson. Thank you.